morning from Universal Studios Hollywood. We are here today. It is a lovely day here at Universal. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go on some rides, have some fun. It's a lovely park here. Obviously, it's a lot smaller than Orlando, like a lot. Um, you are getting like not as many of the rides, and there's only one park. Whereas the Universal um, in Orlando has two parks, and Adventure Universal this only has one, but it's still got a lot of the great rides. Um, yeah. Sudden tram movements oh, and loud noises, fire effects and water effects. So keep your phones and cameras ready. We want you to take pictures. Just keep an eye on them so they don't get wet. And finally we ask, because you're sitting very close to a lot of people on the tram, please don't use selfie sticks, at least not while on the tour. We've got posters on both sides of the tram of a lot of our classic movies. We've been making movies for 110 years. 1912 is when Carl Lemley started Universal. That's not a movie set, right? You can take a picture if you want. That's a fire station. They have these in every city. And, and people are like a fire truck and they take pictures. So what's going on on the lot today besides Grand Crew? Quantum Leap is filming. That show was a big hit in the late 1980s, early 90s. It just returned last Monday. Uh, for the premiere episode, uh, they've been filming all over our back lot, so I'll be pointing out some areas that they've been shooting. Uh, the Voice is currently preparing for their 23rd season. They're getting ready to do the blind rounds. Kelly Clarkson, who's frequently one of the voice coaches on the show, also does her talk show here, the Kelly Clarkson Show. She co-hosts American Song Contests with Snoop Dogg. Uh, we do some shows here for the Peacock Network, like Bel Air, Rutherford Falls, and we're filming a new television show today for the Peacock Network, Ted. Ted is based on the movies, co-written and directed by Seth MacFarlane. Uh, the television show is going to be a prequel, so everything that takes place on the series happens before the two movies. Uh, Seth MacFarlane is executive producing the show, and he will be the voice of Ted, like he was in the films. These next few stages we're, we're driving by, they just painted the stages, and they didn't put the numbers back on them yet, but these are stages 11, 10, and 9. They've been using these next three stages for Grand Crew. It's a show on NBC. They're working on their second season right now. The first season can be seen on the Peacock Network, but they're not filming inside these stages now. They're out on our back lot. We're going to be driving past where they're shooting later. And then these last two stages on the left, uh, eight and seven, these are used for Bel Air, which is the reboot of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The door's open a little bit, and you can see some sets inside. Uh, they're also working on their second season right now. There's a lot of construction going on over here behind the green fence on the right, which is all for Super Nintendo World. <laughs> and we're very excited to announce Super Nintendo World is going to be opening early in 2023 here at Universal Studios Hollywood. You're going to be able to find updates about Super Nintendo World on our website and our social media account. So it's not ready yet, but it's coming soon. I have to keep looking around as we're driving by all of our sound stages because right next to or right above every sound stage entrance door, there's a red light. And if we drive by any sound stage and the red light is on or flashing, there are cameras rolling in that stage, and it becomes a quiet zone. Oh, so if I stop talking suddenly, it's because I see like one of those red lights on. These next few stages, they're doing a little bit of refurbishment, refurbishment on. They had just finished filming the fourth season of the Netflix comedy, Never Have I Ever, which was produced by Mindy Kaling. They wrapped up the fourth season, and it is the final season of the show. So they just yeah. shot the last episode of Never Have I Ever. Yeah. There are some statues so in front of stage 18. And if you're riding with children, it doesn't matter where you're visiting from all over the world. Your children probably know who those statues are. They're very popular. They're called Minions, and they just starred in Minions, The Rise of Gru. Uh, family film the Universal produced with Illumination Entertainment. Number is covered, but you kind of see Hitchcock's profile next to the door. He was a director known for cameos. Why would we do that? They're doing it again. They're hitting the second car. Dinosaurs keep spinning on the tram. That's why my seat has a window. It's not fair. 
But if you see that as many times as Juan and I do, I'm going to show you the scene from The Lost World with on the left. There is a flood coming. Uh oh. with the two blue doors and the red tram around the red tram around the windows. That was yogurt, yogurt, yogurt on the show. The railway station that was featured quite a bit, especially in season two, coming up on the left. The sets that we had used for that comedy series are the same sets from Frankenstein. Dracula, The Wolfman, The Invisible Man, all those classic horror movies of the 30s and 40s. Those movies would usually film a scene in the courtyard over here on the right where a big mob of angry villagers would gather. And they would have torches and pitchforks. Okay, hold on. That's an earthquake. Halloween. Here it is in Psycho. He lives with his mother and Mrs. Bates always sits in a chair and looks out her bedroom window from the second floor watching trams drive by. Don't look upstairs in front of the house if you've never seen Psycho uh, because it's kind of a spoiler. But if you've seen the movie and you already know what Mrs. Bates looks Norman's home, there's a set of a crashed airplane and a destroyed neighborhood. This is all a set that Steven Spielberg had built when he was filming War of the Worlds. Welcome to the world of the moon. We are leaving the set of Jupiter's Plane, but you can still see these sets in Jordan Peele's film. Uh, guys, can you excuse me just for a second? Security, we are leaving the last set of the back lot. Uh, we clear to come home. Here we are at Super Nintendo World. So it's not actually open yet. It opens early 2023. Obviously, it's 2022 right now. It's September. You can see when you're coming down from the lower lot, well, from the upper lot to the lower lot, you can see it's being like constructed. Last time we came here was 2019, and it was all kind of just like construction work then. Whereas now, you can really start to see it take shape. And also, there is a lot of merch in the shops. Along the ride, we have the Mario shop. Basically, it is just completely full of Mario stuff here. All of the merch is excluded from all of the discounts, obviously, and it is limited to four pieces of merch per item, um, like four each per item. So there's Mario Kart stuff at suit prices, thirty-five dollars. Yeah, pretty average. Lots of stuff. Oh, I love these, the mini patches. They are cute, I love the Mario Kart one. That is $12, not too bad. 
More Mario t-shirts, Mario Kart. $35 seems to be kind of the general for the adult ones. $15 for this. And then kids stuff. Magnets. How much are magnets? $15. Yeah, pretty, pretty basic. Pretty basic pricing for most of them. Lots of Mario's. I love these. They've got really nice prints in a lot of the shops and I think they're actually relatively cheap. So $15 is pretty good for a print. Um, and it's in like a plastic protective case, which is good as well. More stuff around here. Love the hat. The hat is super cute. So it's the Super Nintendo World there, Mario Kart. Really nice. How much is the hat? The hat is $27. And this is as of September 2022, before it has opened. Oops, sorry. And um, we have the hat. How much is the hat? The hat is $35, obviously. Looks like that. There are a few of them. I've not actually seen anyone walking around with these, but it is also very, very warm today, so I can't really blame them. Lots of soft toys. $20 for a little Yoshi. Um, Princess Peach is $20 as well. Tiny Bowser is $20. Yeah, $20 seems to be the basic for the smaller ones. This is slightly bigger, so that's $30. Luigi. And there's more, so the big ones are a bit more expensive. Oh my gosh, I have to get this. Oh, I love him, he's $25, we love Toad. That's incredible. Kind of feels like a, oh, it's a puppet. Okay, can you put, yes, that is a properly a puppet. So these are the puppets, the puppets are 30, maybe $33. They are fantastic. Oh, okay, that's Mario is 33, and Yoshi's 33, but Toad was slightly cheaper at 25. And here, let's have a look, peach stuff. Mario hats again. I've not seen people wear these probably just because of how warm it is. These these were very popular at Disneyland. Yeah, we went four items for style per transaction. So that's $14. Let's just got Bowser on. Peach, peach t-shirt. This is a kid's one, so how much are kids? Kids $25 for the t-shirts. And your pouch bags. How much is a bag? A bag is $28 for like a Georgetown bag. And then gloves, which look very similar to someone else's gloves. Mr. Mickey Mouse, they are $24. But yeah, and then this, oh, that's cute. Super Nintendo World, that is $35. Then they have these player one and they also have player two ones, they're 27, super cute. This little um, mushroom purse, $16. And obviously all of this is minus tax, so it doesn't include the tax. But yeah, this is the shop at the moment, what it currently looks like, and all of the stuff you can currently get. There's also key rings, stuff. So this is stuff you can get from the shop on the lower lot. So the entrance will be right next to where Transformers the ride is. That's Super Nintendo World, that'll be the entrance. Just above that board there. I'm not tall enough to properly show you, uh, but yeah. It should be similar. So they have actually already opened one. I think it is in Universal Studios Japan, um, where they have opened it. There's two rides. One of them is the Mario Kart one, which obviously will be very popular when it opens. And yeah, there's a lot of merch about, and it just kind of adds another thing to the lower lot. So already on the lower lot, there is, well, Transformers, obviously. You can be the Transformers, um, the Mummy, and Jurassic World, the ride. Uh, and this will just add another thing to that. There's also some like food places and shops as well down here.
Yeah. I want to warn you, the drop is massive, but it's, it's, it's worth it, you know, especially if you're Jurassic Park fan like me, this is Jurassic World, the other one's Jurassic World, in Florida is Jurassic Park, but this is, it's fantastic, it's another level, but it's, it's a big drop, but it's, it's fun. Did you like it, everyone? The dinosaur won't even go for you. Tram this year is based on Nope, the Jordan P. Jordan P. The Terror Tram this year is based on Nope and Us, the Jordan Peele films. Um, I have actually seen Nope and I've seen Us. Us is one of my favourite horror films of all time. I wasn't a huge fan of Nope, but I did like the aesthetic of it. Um, and this is the T-shirt for that. I'm obsessed with that T-shirt. It's so cool. Um, and that is thirty-five dollars. But I mean, that's hundred percent worth it. And you come around here, and they also have the. Um, the Star Lasso experience, um, and it's that's just before one of the worst scenes in Note. If you know, you know. Um, and then there's like Jurassic Park stuff. I love this shop because they've just got so much like nice things. Chucky, we always love Chucky. That is absolutely horrifying, genuinely. The stuff is nightmares. It looks like Twilight Baby. Chucky. Oh, see Daisy. <laughs> so, pop that back up. Stuff. Oh my gosh, I want him. $650 for a Chucky. Um, the killer clowns from out of space. That's one of the um, the Halloween Horror Nights like houses. Good stuff. Um, more stuff. Warm house. Oh, black light. That's quite good. That a lot of the stuff, like a lot of the Halloween Horror Night stuff, is black light. I love these pins. We saw them yesterday. They're sixteen dollars, but they're so cool. So it's based on Halloween, and I'm a huge Halloween fan. Me and my dad love it. So that's good. And this is a black light one as well. Love that. How much is that? Let's get a Let's get a price, let's get a price. I said let's get a price, but it can't find the label. So, free. Um, and then I saw a girl actually with this in the queue for Jurassic World and it looks so good. It's not a lounge fly, so it's not like as good quality, but it is a cute bag um, and there's no price on that. The prices, the prices aren't here. Uh, does this one have it? Mm, no, probably $30. I'm just making that up. Oh, that's cute. Is that a bookmark? It looks like a bookmark that would light up. Another Halloween pen, Halloween stuff. We love it. <laughs>
there is a lot of Minion merch. There are Minion bags. This is a backpack. Tell me I do not need it, because it is $37. That's not too bad, it's quite cute. This, I'm obsessed with, it's a little bag, and that is $40, like, I'm sorry. How cute is that? I'm actually obsessed. And then like a fanny pack, or bum bag, or whatever you wanna call it, $26, I love that. just there and we've just walked all the way along here to have a look at the Nintendo world it's over there you can see some of it it is pretty impressive this is September 2022 um, so this is what it looks like currently it's opening early 2023 you can see Bowser's castle um, it's definitely coming together which is really impressive also you get a really good view around here it's not it's a little bit out you know like, there's not like lots around it but you are getting a really good view just of like general universalness. Um, just there you can see the top of the Jurassic World, um, like the Mosasaurus bit in the ride. Uh, but yeah, that is, that's that. It looks very, very impressive so far. Oh, that must be the Jurassic World ride as a whole, like all of it, because you can just see like water squirting up where like the dinosaurs squirt up the water. So that's quite cool as well. Oh yeah, that, I don't know if you can see that water there, but that would be, on the Jurassic Park ride or Jurassic World now. And yeah, this is, this is a fantastic view. Look at that. Universal Studios Hollywood there will be things being filmed obviously as well as the theme park it is an active set um, a lot of the times you will see it on the studio tour you may go past them where you have to go quiet on the studio tour studio tour uh, but behind me they say the things that they are filming um, they literally just finished wrapping I think yesterday or something and uh, never have ever which um, if you know me you know I love it's on Netflix it's fantastic and these are the things that they are currently filming today we went past a couple of the sets so you have to be quiet then so basically the tour guides just kind of tell you to be quiet and they stop talking for a bit as you go past the set not to disturb it are uh, the things that are being filmed today Ted, the TV show, the Kelly Clarkson show, Quantum Leap. Uh, obviously there's a lot of things like we don't recognise like as people from the UK because um, like because we're from the UK we don't recognise like all the TV shows they have because there are a lot of TV shows that they like are doing that we don't see because it's on like Peacock or Hulu or something and um, we don't get some of these in the UK but some of them you know we do recognise never ever ever recognise so yeah so as you know I was just talking about hot sets and basically when they're filming stuff on the like studios usually they film it downstairs like on the actual lot but sometimes they film it upstairs like where the theme park is and behind me they have the ride guys they're filming them today um, they just kind of blocked a little bit of an area off and this is in Hogsmeade um, yeah there was a thing outside saying you know you may be filmed today uh, just to let you know and they have a sign up to it also. But yeah, that is that is where the ride, gu ride guys, I think it's the ride guys, are filming today and obviously they have a little bit extra like security and stuff. There you go. Let's go in here, one of the Harry Potter shops. What's kind of annoying about the Harry Potter shops is how small they all are, which is what they wanted. They wanted them to be small, but they are kind of annoyingly small. Rest shop right now and they have ornaments. That's quite cute. They are... Uh, $15, they're quite loud. $19 for that one, another one there, $14, $95, it's Yule Ball one. They have the costumes from the Yule Ball, they're $21.95, they are cute. Oh, I love that. 
Uh, are they all 21.95? I think they are all 21.95 and they are from the Yule Ball. Then some jewellery. A lot of the stuff you can get, you can get like in the UK like studio tour. I don't know if any of you have been there, but basically there's a UK Harry Potter studio tour where they actually filmed Harry Potter. Um, so you can get a lot of this merch actually in the UK. Um, but some of the stuff is like exclusive to like Universal Studios. And there are some Harry Potter pins. My sister actually getting some of them. That's a really nice one. How much is that? That is $15. Not awful prices. Loving the new Universal merch. They've, honestly, they've done a really good job. Like when we went to Disney this time, I was a little bit disappointed with the merch. I didn't actually get as much as I thought I was going to get. But Universal is kind of really well I mean look at this that's so cool that's ten dollars I mean I imagine it won't last long like when you put it in the dishwasher but other than that it's cute what else is the uh, ornaments fifteen dollars I love that that's so nice nice stuff there's lots of obviously Halloween stuff because Halloween Horror Nights at the moment um, I am gonna get some Halloween Horror Nights stuff because we all go to Halloween Horror Nights um, lots of Universal Monsters Jupiter's Clam from No. Um, some absolutely terrifying masks there. Halloween, we love Halloween, that's such a nice glass. We love that, that'll be $10, $12, slightly more expensive that one. Um, this t-shirt I think I actually need, I mean, that's terrifying, thank you. Um, I want that as well, basically it's a limited edition. I think I showed you this in another shop, but I just, that's so cute. Um, I think I'm gonna get this. It's a black light one, which is super cool. Oh, we've got a bag. They basically kind of want to be lounge flies because they're not lounge flies, but you, like, you can tell the difference between a lounge fly and this, but they will, I imagine, be cheaper than lounge flies. Lounge flies aren't usually that bad. So that is, it doesn't have the price on, it's helpful. Um, but I imagine they're cheaper than lounge flies. This hats, things, denim jackets, that's super cool. Uh, mugs, that's a nice mug. And that is $22, that is cute. Just so much Halloween stuff. Earrings, patches, I love this bag. How cool is that? I love that. Okay, none of this stuff has price on, which is inconvenient because I want to know how much I'm spending before I do it because I imagine it will be a lot. Um, Halloween, Halloween. There's so many different like Halloween, like Horror Nights tops. I don't actually know which one to get. This one's $30. So I think the Halloween Horror Nights stuff is slightly more expensive because obviously like it's limited edition. Then some Chucky stuff. If you wanted any Chucky stuff, they're a bit weird. Oh, freaky. A surprisingly good film if you've not seen it. Um, and then there's like the expensive stuff you can get. Um, like, yeah. They're really cute. That's a lounge fly. I like them. There's some sign stuff. That Jaws lounge fly is so cool. And that is $82. And I mean, it is cool to be fair. Um, and stuff. And then the big Harry Potter section, obviously. There's always a massive Harry Potter section, isn't there? Back to the Future. Considering they've got rid of the ride, I think it's offensive they have so much merch. They should bring back the ride. Um, I didn't even like the ride that much, but um, I think I only rode it once when I was like six, and then they got rid of it. But um, yeah, Rent to the Mummy. All this stuff. Jaws. They love Jaws. Again, offensive because they got rid of the Jaws ride. ET bag, super cute. Lots of ET stuff. There's no ET ride here, um, unlike Florida, but still, they got a lot of ET stuff and just Jurassic Park, Bates Motel, lots and lots of merch. So yes, um, I did treat myself to some Halloween Horror Nights merch. We're going tomorrow, but I thought I'd treat myself to stuff. Um, I really want one of these. These are $18 and basically you get like a little like figure. But the only issue is I wouldn't want, I don't really know. And maybe the Wolfman, I won't want the Wolfman. The one I definitely want is Michael Myers. We love Halloween. Um, yeah, there's just so much cute Halloween stuff. There's phone cases, uh, let's have a look. This phone case is so nice. It's of the t-shirt I got. So I got the Terra, Dra the Terra Tram t-shirt and the Halloween t-shirt and that. The only issues with phone cases, I, um, use pop socket all the time so Ow. um it covers most of the design that hurt um and then here we have the dolls that must have been using the actual chucky film uh, if you've seen chucky it's hilarious i love chucky um so that is chucky's wife obviously um chucky himself chucky says child um and then a very very burnt horrifying chucky but yeah these are all on loan so you cannot buy these and then just more halloween lots and lots of halloween merch and genuinely they kind of knocked it out of the park with the halloween merch i must admit i love it all
So Universal Studios, when we went, actually shut quite early. So it shut around 6 p.m., which is like pretty early for a theme park. So after that, we then walked into City Walk, had a walk around there, had a look in the shops. We also then had our tea at the Italian place there. And then we went to Voodoo Donuts, which we've never been to before. And when I tell you, these donuts are like the best donuts I've ever had. And they were so cheap. Like they were just, oh my gosh, they were, they were so good. Um, I can't believe we've not been there before because chef's kiss vlog will be going to the Grammy Museum and I'm super excited about this because there is a woman in country music exhibit on and there is like a Taylor Swift thing there and I can't wait to show you guys it because it's super cool but yeah, but yeah thank, you thank you so much for watching this vlog thank you for watching all my California vlogs it means the absolute world to me and if you're new here make sure to like and subscribe that would be so cool thank you once again for watching and have a great day